everyone, and welcome to Endemian's Gate. This is episode five of Endemian's Gate, a show in which we play Hill Folk by Pelgrain Press, created originally by Robin D. Laws. Specifically, we're using the setting Dream Space, which was created by Keith Baker. My name is Ash Minnick. I will be your game moderator for the show, and I would it is my great privilege to introduce you to the crew of the ship Endemian as well as our cast. Hello, I'm Xander Genre, and I'm playing Slade Salty Larsa, the alien navigator on the ship. Uh, Slade is a Silver Eyes, which is a native of the dream space, so he can sort of change his shape based on his surroundings, uh, and he's the navigator of the ship. What's up? I'm Becca Scott, but today you will be experiencing Chief Science Officer Yvette Pip. My skin is green, but I am human. It's because I was raised on Perseon 12, which is in a different galaxy. We have a lot more radon in our atmosphere. Anyway, I used to be a happy scientist that liked helping people. I don't know if that's the case anymore. I'm five foot nine. <laughs> I have long gangly arms and, and phalanges. Really, really long phalanges. <laughs> That's Pip. <laughs> Pip was like four nine. Pip got five. taller. Pip was yeah. like, yeah. like a foot <laughs> tall. Okay. So I'm four nine. I'm four nine. Some, four nine. Did I say Pip five nine? Stripper heels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said five I nine. Feel five, I feel five foot nine. I have a renewed energy. <laughs> uh, hi everyone, my name is Alejandra Cejudo. I'm playing Captain Valkyrie Escobar, the captain of uh, the Endemian. Uh, what else? I've got a bright neon uh, mohawk. I'm a space viking. And uh, that's about it. The ultimate space viking. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and uh, I'm not a space viking. I am Luis Carrazo and I'm playing Chief Ben Solis. Uh, Ben's about six feet tall. He has got a shaved head, tan skin, beard, not as crazy as what you see right now. It's a little bit more, you know, together than what I've got going on. Uh, sleeve, uh, tattoos on his arms of gargoyles. Um, and, uh, he is, um, doing great. <laughs> Hi, I'm a brief high and guy playing director Talis Gray, who's, I guess, also doing great. Uh, she is uh, a mantra executive, so she's a space bureaucrat, but slightly less Jamaican than you may think. Uh, she's 5'10", black, uh, very angular, very stern, always wears dark colors and impeccably tailored suits, and is definitely the life of the, of the ship. We also have a very special guest with us this week. Cynthia! Hi guys, I'm Cynthia Marie. I'm playing Artemis Day, the CEO of Mantra. Uh, she is, has long red hair for right now, monochromatic makeup all the time, and monochromatic or black outfit, suit, tailored. Yes, just slaying the game. Amazing. So this is our core crew plus our special guest. Uh, Margaret Dost has made amazing art of this core crew uh, and you should check it out and you, it gives you a better a better uh, idea of what, what these folks look like in universe. It's beautiful, beautiful art. I love it. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Uh, as always, a Endemian's Gate takes place in the far future, in a future where we have discovered the ability to travel through dreams. The specific crew has gotten lost in dreams, uh, somewhat be their own fault, but you know, they're, they're working together as a crew and discovering things about themselves and trying to get out of dream space. So let's, let's see if they make any progress. Uh, without further ado, this is episode five of Endemian's Gate. Ready to continue viewing the logs? 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 Our next log is the log of 
Director Talis Gray, speaking with Delta version of Champ, Domran Champ. Begin log. I'm... Yes, Champ. I am... I understand. I'm nervous. I'm waiting out this, outside the door of my own office. Yes, I... Director. You should enter your office. Yes, and obviously. But the COO and the CFO are in there. They've... It's taken them a week of thawing before they were back up to full functionality. <clears throat> and... Yes, they were removed from stasis by the engineer. Yes, Demo. <sighs> I just... I feel a bit like uh, like a student outside the principal's office. Are I'm you not nervous. excited to speak again with your mantra colleagues? I suppose. I, I am, but I'm not. I, I look up to the COO. Day has been such a good mentor for me. I don't really have much of a relationship with the chief financial officer, uh, Sia, but I just, this isn't how everything was supposed to be. And I don't enjoy having to explain myself to other people. So gearing up for a fight, <laughs> hence the adrenaline re levels. Do you have something? Can you put something in me to calm me the fuck down? Potentially, if that's what you would like prior to a meeting with your colleagues. I asked for it, so if you could just do it and not constantly question me, that would be amazing, champ. Of course, director. I just wanted to verify. You Whenever you're feeling... ready. Oh, I've already done it, director. You should be feeling calmer in 15 seconds. Okay, I'll wait out here for... Oh, no, I can hear them judging me. I'm going to go now. It'll be fine. Good luck, Director. I hope it is satisfactory. Thanks. End log. Pulling up associated clip. This is inside the office of Director Talis Gray. Crew members present, Director Talis Gray, as well as COO Artemis Day and CFO Sia Mantras. Begin clip. Uh, <clears throat> uh, COO, CFO, I hope you guys are feeling well. Yes. I'm awake. Why? So. Have we arrived at Jupiter? <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, not yet. So there's been a bit of a technical difficulty with the ship, and we are currently working on ameliorating the navigational pro. We're lost, and we'll figure it out. I have everything under control. Oh. That must have been terrible for you. Hold on. We're lost? <clears throat> lost. Uh, oof. Um. <laughs> Think before you speak to me. Oh, Adi. She's been through a lot, can't you tell? Look at her, she looks so stressed. Oh, pardon me, yes. She looks so stressed. I don't give a fuck. Why are we lost? It appears as though our chief science officer sabotaged the navigational system in order to have more time to spend in the above as we traveled. Oh, goody. <laughs> That's, oh, is this the chief science officer that you, you approved? It is. The one uh, your, little, your little pet wanted to have along. <laughs> it is. Uh, yes, uh, well, I was bringing them all to you anyway, uh, as proofs of concept, but Dr. Pip has been more of a loose cannon than expected. But if we are able to access her logs, the scientific data she's pulled and some of the research 
jump she's made while lost in dream space would be invaluable to Mantra. What do you uh, mean, if? Uh, <clears throat> when, when, when <laughs> she locked me out of them. How is that even possible? If she wasn't so talented, I wouldn't be recommending her to Mantra's head of research and development. So what I'll say, uh, I did not expect that she was going to be able to reroute all of her stuff into a different server so quickly. So that's on me, but she'll comply. She knows that we have the resources available. How as long as she can get over me shooting her a little bit. How do you expect her to comply? I, I am not super sure, but everything I've observed of her while we've been on this, she's highly motivated beyond her own sense of personal well-being to learn more, to understand more, to push forward the scientific community. If we proffer our offer correctly, I think we can bring her into the fold and take her off of the ship. You hmm. think or you know? I know. Good. I know. Things How happen. Long? How long have we been lost? Uh, this trip was supposed to take three weeks, and it's now been about a month and a half. Six weeks? Yes. That's so, why you were pulled out of stasis. So we're three weeks late for the meeting and still lost? If you want to put it that way. Is there another way to put it? Well, for what it's worth, I and the crew that I've curated here on the ship that you are currently standing on were the meeting. So you have an opportunity not available to other mantra executives. You can observe them firsthand and see the good work that I've spearheaded for yourself. Sia, sweetheart, how yes, darling. do you feel about these experiments that Talis has, has done? How, we, we should take a look at these experiments, no? See where your money uh, went? I would love to know that. I honestly know very little about what they are other than their code names. Do they know that, that they are projects? No, I would appreciate you maintaining a facade of distance for a while, but I'm happy to give you a run through. The oh, navigator that's delicious. <laughs> the navigator is Slade Salty Lassa. We acquired him after the terrorist act several mm. years ago, where we picked up some of our other assets. He has shown himself to be more beneficial than our original target, the young Silver Eyes. That's for whatever Pepper, I have that written down. I don't know why. Yes, yes, Pepper. Where he has shown abilities far beyond expectation. And for exchange for an exchange of freedom, whatever that means to him, I think he will happily come into the fold as well. Uh, the implant that I've put on the captain, Valkyrie Val Escobar, has performed Within margins, I have some questions. There seems to be some sort of contraindication with uh, high doses of dreamamine, habit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they are affecting her mood, but she has been in the field for two and a half years longer than any of our outsized data for pilots or captains. She's held um, off. Go ahead. The the implant is still functioning? Uh, it was intentionally powered down by myself. 
in order to take a control sample, just so I have something uh, for my final graphs. Artie, don't you think she looks very cute when she's lying? Yes, it's very <laughs> evident. Hmm. I had to power down the auxiliary implant. There was an incident in the above recently while you were all thawing. It's taken care of now, but I have not brought the implant back online. Care yet. to share those details of this incident? It seems as though our champ, they're calling them champ, the cognohaptic monitoring program put our chief security officer into a me medically induced coma, therefore making him an inadvertent sleeping beauty. We were trapped in his dream and the dream somehow slid more towards memory. I can't explain it, but in order to have Valkyrie at full cognitive efficiency, I had to power down her auxiliary implant. I stand by my decision. None of that should be possible. Yes, I know. And that's why it's important that you're here, that you need to see uh, what has happened with this crew, all the pieces we put in place, all of the systems and technology that I was testing here. It's created something different. And yes, we're lost, but I will find a way to get us back on course. We will be to Jupiter as soon as humanly possible. But you need to see this. I... I'm sensing something very different about you, Talis. There's this hint, this very interesting sound inflection to your voice. It sounds like emotion. What I... is this shit? I <clears throat> don't know what you're talking about. I'm Really? Because just... it seems that you might be a little attached to your experiment. Oh, n not our Talis, no. <laughs> No. Oh, darling, are you? I... I... could use some help with that. I... I... I've been with them for a while. We've seen things that I know neither of you have ever had to deal with. But I've also seen what Mantra does, what it feels like to be the one pulling the trigger. And we say it's for the greater good, but I have doubts sometimes. Really? Yes. What doubts may you be having at this moment? I was there in Chief Solis's memory when we took Slade as a secondary asset when we tried to negotiate the handoff of the little girl, the Silver Eyes. And I was the one that pulled the trigger on the defecting soldier and It's different when it's just, when it's just things on a page, when it's numbers and statistics, it makes sense. We're doing so much good for so many people. But when you're there, when you have to be the one making those choices, I'm sorry. It's terribly unprofessional of me. <clears throat> remember that one night that we were sitting in the quarters of my family, my mother specifically, and she was sitting there on a respirator, her heart just finally beating. Do you remember what choice I made? I do. Do I need, do I need to remind you of what that choice was like? Was that not very similar to what you just experienced, having to pluck the life out of someone you loved? I didn't think so. You 
pull the trigger because of the greater good for our company. You made the decision and for the that galaxy, you had to make. Really. Exactly. You made a decision that you had to make. Get over it. You want to be in control of things? There's far harder decisions you're going to have to make. If your preference, Talos, would be demoted to a position where you can care about the people around you, no, we that can will, do that. <clears throat> that will not be necessary. Uh, I, you're right. You're both absolutely right. Uh, I think being in close confines with this crew, I lost some perspective. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Mantra has saved millions upon millions of lives with with our medical, you know, exchange program and all of the things that we've done. And I just, we do so much for this galaxy, providing the, inter the interstellar travel that the people would have no other way, no other means of, of doing really. I just can't even, the idea that one life, ugh, I just, I, Adi, I told you she wasn't ready for the field. I'm, <clears throat> if I may, I am more than ready. This was a temporary crisis of conscience and nothing more. I am value, I hold myself in your debt for being able to straighten me out, but I feel much more myself again. And you did not make a mistake and neither have I. And when I give my report on Jupiter, you will understand that I am ready for a promotion to executive director. The prisoner program has been excellent as well. That's my girl, Sia. Is it possible to have a private moment with uh, Talus here? Of course, darling. I'm going to look around the ship and see if I can find some of these programs. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I mean, people. Mm. Enjoy. Tools. Talus. Artemis. Take a breath. I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't embarrass you in front of her, I, Fine. are you, is what? that happening? No. Okay. No. Oh, okay. no. okay, sorry, I'm sorry, just wasn't sure. No, she's weak. She <sighs> won't even take over any part of the, the company at all. So I found somebody else. Better. Oh, yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. But enough about me, about you. We, I need you to focus. You cannot show weakness in front of Sia. I, I, it will never, <clears throat> never happen again. I apologize. Okay. Space madness. Have you shown this weakness to the others? No. Try that again. A little more convincing this time. Never again. Great. I'm happy to hear that. What else do I need to know about these ex people Pe people <laughs> it rolls off the tongue funny i know people yeah okay uh what? everyone has been exemplary uh demo has been invaluable as an asset helping me to keep all of mantra's secrets secret including the room i haven't heard anything from anyone. I've kept it off the plans, all of the tech that we are transporting to our campus. So as far as I know, we're still in the clear there. Uh, I'm a little concerned for Ben, <clears throat> Chief Officer Solis, on how he's doing since the coma. That's the only reason. Again, I am sensing this yes. emotion. What? Gives. It's sexual frustration. Ugh. Fine. That one I'll cop to. That is very easy to get rid of. You know that. You don't need him for that. Well, there are plenty of things that Mantra has created. That's very true. Maybe I should go and test some of our equipment. No, I just thought maybe this trip would have gone a different way with, with him, him and y yes, yes. Again, you know we've made stuff that lasts a whole lot longer than men. Yeah, uh, fair, <laughs> fair. He's different. I thought he was different. You, no. you thought he's different. Oh, honey, no. 
Look, I had a lot of shit to work out in the three weeks that's become six weeks on the way here, but I've disabused myself of that notion, if it makes you feel any better. We've spent a lot of company money here. How are we gonna make up for it? I would ask that you go and have a conversation or two with Dr. Yvette Pip and see if she reveals to you any of the things that she's been working on. Her work with Thydranine and Antide Pods, truly illuminating. I'm excited. Will you please introduce me to her? I would love to. Great. And I, like, turn and open the door and lead her out into the hallway. End log. Pulling up next clip. Clip. This is the log of one Valkyrie Val Escobar. Begin log. Hello, Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar. Hello, champ. How are you today? Are you feeling satisfactory? I'm feeling like I've woken up after a long sleep. I, uh, I, I, I mean, <laughs> aside from the fact that we takes a week to adjust and to slowly wake up, I, <sighs> I, something happened when we were in Ben's memory. I, I remember the implant and I remember all the pain it was giving me and I haven't felt that. I haven't felt it in a week. And your implant, Captain? My implant? What? You just said you haven't felt the pain from your implant in a week? I don't even... How did I know I have an implant? You? I know. I'm not sh I was... I remember. I, I, I can... I jumped into... I jumped into a... A dream. I can jump around dreams or or maybe I can hear what people are thinking. I don't know. I just I remember Talis and, and Slade having a conversation, but I, I don't even think I was there. Captain, your your brainwaves are, are acting very abnormally. I would suggest a checkup with, with the chief science officer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need to talk to Pip and Slade immediately. I think that's a good idea, Captain. Good luck. Thank you. End log. Pulling up associated clip. Location, Dr. Yvette Pip's science lab. Officers present, Navigator Slade Larsa, Chief Science Officer Yvette Pip, and Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar. Begin log. Hey, Slade, thank you for meeting me here. I yeah. uh... This is, you came to me. This is my, this is my lab. So, well, I, I didn't think you'd be, you're not always in your lab. I haven't left my lab in a week. I'm but sorry, yes, I didn't know. welcome. Well, well it's it... changed, Val. Yeah. Oh. Well, can we deal with what you're going through after we deal with what I'm going through? And I'll give it 100% attention. I just, um... Oh, I'm not going through anything. I'm already there. Yes, let's talk about your thing. Captain, is it something okay. with the training? Yes, well, I... Okay, I... I, I have an implant in my head, okay? Champ, and we all uh, have it. What? Champ? Champ? No, 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 no. I have another one. I have another implant that Mantra put in my head and I didn't even know about it. And then and then I had, you know, those pains I was having. And when we were up in Ben's memory or dream or that crazy thing we're all in, I I remember it happening. It was Mantra, it was Talus, wasn't it? Yeah, she shut it off. Val, this all has to do with what I've been thinking about nonstop and I want to bring you in. Oh, look at this thing that you two have figured out on your own, and I said nothing. Wow. Okay, no, you said you were there. You were there. I gave you. I, I gave you credit. You were in Talos. We had that conversation. You knew about this, no, Salty? No, he, he was just there when it was revealed, I believe. 
I, I'm, I, uh, I don't want to be in trouble. So what? whatever is the right answer is there. Salty, I believe you were born trouble. Ugh. Didn't you come aboard this ship as a prisoner? Okay, we're not gonna bring this up again, are we? But you're free now, so yeah. how's freedom feel, by the way? Oh, pretty good, I mean, I still uh, do. We seem Hello? to have a passenger in the mm. lab. Oh, what yeah. is everyone doing in my lab? Please don't touch anything, everyone. Everything is very delicate. I just need to talk to a few things. Yeah. I would like to introduce you all to the Chief Operations Officer of Bontra. If I'm the one that pays your bills, she's the one that pays mine. So maybe mind your notorious temper. This is mm. Artemis Day. I assume you're speaking to Val when you say temper? I'm speaking to all of you. Right. Hello, everybody. Uh, Enchanté. Is Artemis French? It sounds French. It can be if you'd like. Enchanté, then. How wonderful. You are Chief Science. Yvette Pip. Yvette Pip. Yes. Wonderful. This is who you were talking about. Am I correct, Alice? Correct. Brilliant. Truly. Sounds like it. I was just interested in your lab. Is there anything that you could tell me about what you have going on here? The director flatters me. Why, uh, my discoveries having to do with um, Thydronine are well known. And, of course, uh, Antide Tidecoxidone, uh, my Antide pods that dissolve Tidecoxidone have, have really saved lives in the dream space and have no other purpose. And. Mm -hmm. Done. And that's there, the extent of is. my research. That's it. Cut and dry. Very simple. Uh, I'll start on something new, of course. Well, no, maybe. Uh, Maybe this, maybe Artemis will know something. Artemis, uh, the captain was just telling us that-, that... About nothing. Oh. About repainting Needing the walks in the hallways, yes. The hallways. Paint was chipping. And yes. uh, who are you? I understand who the captain is. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm- That's our navigator, Chief Slade, Slade Larza. Navigator. And he's talking to me. They're talking to me. You're right. You're right. I'm so sorry. Go on. They have a what very re relaxed atmosphere here on Endymion. The navigator is essential to the functioning of the Endymion. The navigator can speak for himself. Thank you. Just saying you're valuable, Salty. I appreciate it. I was just saying that we appreciate all of the technology and and Champ has been a real help for me. So thank you. Oh, good. I'm happy to hear that it's a help for somebody. <sighs> me too, <laughs> now that it comes to that. Definitely. And Captain, it seems that you are in distress about something. The paint. <laughs> paint on the walls. The paint. What is it that mm -hmm. I can do for you about the paint? Well, maybe you could go to that room where we keep paint and find us some paint and then uh we'll just fix stuff in the lab but really you're a passenger so you can do whatever you want you should relax maybe find one of those sex spots we have one in a box i saw it they last uh, very long but time i've been told it's dusty but <laughs> probably works so that's about it we had a few little issues to deal with not for the passengers to be concerned uh, just shit matters you probably wouldn't understand, but thank you for signing our checks. Uh, I want to slide over to Slade and just be like, what the hell is Val doing? I don't know, she's acting different, and oh, speaking of sex <laughs> robots. Has just, uh... Huh? I, I yes. have those, uh, I've, I've got those, oh. uh, the, the numbers from the, the folks still in stasis you would ask for, um, the, their Thadronine count was... Excellent. I'm sorry, I didn't know we were having a meeting. That's private information. Just don't drop it. Oh, physically. I'll just hold on thumbs. to it. Oh, use your thumbs. Uh, I'd like to get a look at to that. Hold on. The box. Uh, a very. I'm very sorry. That right uh, that uh, is password protected in that tablet. So. Oh, then you would be I most don't know kind that it is one. Password protected. I just think it's. I just Klee wrote box? it down. Klee box? 
Klebox. Yes, ma'am. There's samples. Actually, if you could continue to collect all the samples, and we'll send them on to your office director when they are. Sure, I'll just go. I'll just go. Yes, you'll oh. go. You'll go. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Com so continue. I send the director the finished uh, tallies. These are in. in right. These are not directors. Yes, I see so them, and they're sloppy. incomplete. My handwriting is terrible. It's your big hands. I'm so I sorry. I will. Uh, oh, hi. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. Don't speak hello. to her. Don't look at her in the eye. This day you are my hero. Oh, am I? I would be honored to give you a tour of the ship. Oh, wow, somebody offered to give me a tour. You should probably go on that tour. It's probably a good idea. There's a lot to explore. There's and so much I can show you. And tell her. Scientifically. And y yeah. Perfect, and maybe Tala should go along with you. No, uh, I'm good. Yeah, I, I think... know what the ship looks like. I've been here. Ed, what is your name again? My name's Klebox, ma'am. <laughs> Klebox. Sorry, it's just such a stupid name. No offense, Klebox. How did you acquire such a name? It was Klebox. given me by my parents. They have what? a terrible sense of humor. It's a very common name in Elvis and Klebox. <laughs> oh, we gotta come up with a better name for you. Whatever you'd like to call me, I guess, ma'am. Okay, well, you can discuss that on the tour with Klebox. Klebox. Alice, right. I really think that they might get lost. Klebox uh, has a way of not knowing how to open a door. Because I just Klebox you know, falls the handle. Really the really wall attacked because right handles are... Hold on. I... One moment before I go on this tour that Klebox is taking me on. Just one little detail that I wanted to find out here. Why in the hell, Captain, are you trying to kick me out of here? What are you covering up? Oh, you have seen too many sci-fi movies. There's just too many scientists in the lab right now, and you're not even a scientist, so... I'm a little testy about the number of test tubes that yes. might be knocked over. It, the capacity for this lab is just about three maximum. Trust me, I've been in the captain's bedroom. If she didn't want to cover up, she wouldn't cover up. Thank you. That is more detail I need to know. I feel really uncomfortable right now. All right. Okay, take notice. her on the tour. Klebox will tell you. I will go with Klebox. Talis, would you please come with me? Absolutely. Oh, this is so exciting. Pleasure Let's to go. All of you. Uh, I, I am gonna like make a play to grab that information that Klebox was holding though, as we go. You gotta roll for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we could roll for it now. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's see. Your sneaking is. Um... Oh, it's not sneaking. I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> okay. So you're not trying to take it sneakily? No. Let me turn Klebox off. Okay. <laughs> this is my <laughs> this is now, my concession it, for leaving. Unless it's leave, like with uh, the information. unless it's like all sixes, I, I want to do a counter roll. Ooh yeah, <laughs> shit out for a different tablet <laughs> or like a you know a remote is it a tablet on or my is it just device. Like written down. I don't know what I'm grabbing. Oh, we're it's in a the tablet. Picture. It's definitely. A it's tablet. a tablet. It's okay. a tablet. <laughs> it's right. Keybox's tablet. Okay, so then yeah, so pick a procedural token. Uh, I will, if I have it, I'm rolling with my green. I want to be good at this. Okay. Um, so you do not get any uh, bonus points because this would be moving. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and roll with your plus one from your green. Uh, I got a nine plus one is a 10. So that is a six, uh, success at a cost. Um, is there something that you want to do to try to counteract this? And if so, what are you trying to do? So uh, sort of like a contactless charger that we have now, I have a, a my personal device that we all, of course, carry around a personal device of some sort. Uh, and I sort of like brush it up against it or did a few minutes ago. Uh, that's sort of like a contactless uh, airdrop sort of Pine technology yeah. that just sort of like can, uh, you know, take the take the files off of it that Klebox had brought in. OK, so you're trying to wipe the uh, yeah. the pat. OK, mm -hmm. all right. Onto my device. So yeah, and I'm gonna so use my that, green. Yeah, and Maybe also you have a, a two knowing. point bonus because it's knowing because you're you're specifically your knowing is code and tech. 
And so you get two points for that plus a point for your green. And you're going up against Tan. You got this. So three was my bonus. Yeah. Yes. What did what did you roll? She you said like three was your roll. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> no. no. but if you put it together with my roll, that's an eight, and that's not a ten. No, no we didn't. No, and we that's didn't do that. I am so sorry. So uh, I, I yeah. took a copy, but I I didn't delete the copy. Yeah. So you were able to get a copy of the numbers, but you were not able to to wipe the tablet. Can I modify uh, it that she did wipe it, but Talos is good at hacking, so she can like go back later and put it together. I it want could be I, the cost. Yeah, I like the cost is that she thinks she didn't get it right away. Okay, all right. So the oh, cost I, is I you think you don't have it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So let's play this out. So if Vet Pip and Talus are going for the same thing at the same time as Artemis and Talus leave with uh Klebox, Talus goes to swipe the the tablet. Yvette, knowing that Talos is going to do this, very quickly tries to wipe it, and she manages to delete the file, but not wipe it entirely, although she's pretty confident that she was able to pull it off of there. So As she goes for it, I just lay a hand on it, but the device is hidden. Director, we should probably speak later. We haven't really discussed how you shot me in the leg. Sure. Hmm. We can have that conversation. And then I lift my hand off. And Talos um, picks up the tablet, and I guess it looks blank. And I want her to literally just crack the screen. Okay. Then yeah, that's what she did. And then she and just then turns. You just, just snap the screen. Yeah. Like physically. Yep. And she cracked it. Like uh, she just cracks it. That was mantra equipment. Do with it whatever you like. I will. And then she just turns and walks out. <sighs> leaving Slade and the captain and the science officer still in the lab. Okay, so I think we can come to the conclusion that we don't trust Mantra right now. Uh, I, Pip, I would like you to remove the implant that is in my head so it can't be turned back on because get on the I table. Have... I pull out a scalpel that you I had somewhere table. very close by. <laughs> when she's in a mood like this, she's just gonna start, so you better get on the table quick. I'm on the table. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Strap her down, Salty. Now, right, okay. uh, <clears throat> before I do this, first of all, we're going to have Champ make you numb because uh, that Champ's very good at that. Second of all, no, no, I have a plan. I don't and want, I any want drugs. you in it. Wait, I don't want any drugs. Okay, I've been drugged up for too long. I don't want it. I'll be fine. Just Captain. do the incision, take it out. No, I don't want no. anything else messing with me. I respect that. I don't. This is very dangerous. Uh, I. Uh, this is not good, I think. I make the first incision. Now, Captain. <laughs> it's fine. Look. I like it. Mantra is a problem. And what do you do with the problem? You come up with a solution. <laughs> I want to kill every Mantra employee on this ship that isn't loyal to us. I want this ship to go rogue. Are you with me? And with the rogue part, I feel like we can leave them probably in a dream. That's the same as killing them. Good enough for me. And then I go on to remove. Whoa, <laughs> and whoa, I put whoa. a, I put like a, oh, you didn't I've want been, any gas. I've been a part of this before. I've been a part of a ship that was part of a rev revolution and this is where I ended up. It, it doesn't go well. Salty, that's when your revolution failed, but it always works when science is on your side. What does that even mean? It means science I is have on your side. Humans! And I'll just storm out. Let's get this chip out of here. I like where this is going, Admin. Next log is the personal log of Chief Science Officer Yvette Pip. Begin log. Empress Damrian. It's working. I have two already recruited for our plans. They agreed. Well, that is one, wonderful. One wasn't really in a position to disagree. I mean, they both have, if not more reason than I do, enough reason. To want to bring down Mantra. 
or at least those that we can bring down. Empress, there are new mantra executives that have been awoken. Yes. They will be a problem. I don't think so. I think maybe this gives us an opportunity to really strike at mantra from the heart. Damrian, it's so incredible that I created you. Who would have thought that developing a material to dissolve uh, the the uh, hydrocoxidone would have created sentience as a side note? Doesn't it make sense, Empress? Well, absolutely, I've worked out all the math. Of course, y you are the creation, and when something is dissolved, well, matter is always maintained. It can never be destroyed, it's just repurposed, and you are the ultimate at repurposing. Honestly, I, I know I sort of created you, but you have inspired me in all new ways. That brings me much joy to hear, Empress. Have you thought of the next step? The next step, well... Hmm... We need... I wonder if... Do you think the security officer, Ben, would ever join our cause? If anyone can convince him, you can. Why do you think that is? I don't know. He he carries so much guilt about my brother when really, well, it was Yuri's doing. And now I understand. Now I understand that he saw how evil Mantra truly is and he knew that he had to do what is for the greater good. You can use that, Empress. If you give Chief Ben Solis what he wants, give him the forgiveness he seeks from you, Perhaps he will be indebted to your cause. Listen, I don't need to give him forgiveness, but I suppose you're right. That's what he needs to see. Well, perhaps we'll play the part then, won't we? Are you Don't going to talk to him now, Empress? I am. Do you know where he is? Yes, Empress. He is on the fight deck. Certainly, yes. I should show up for one of my lessons. Oh, hmm. yes. End log. Pulling up associated clip. Location, the fight deck. Crew members present, Chief Ben Solis, Security Officer Marcus, Chief Science Officer Yvette Pip. Don't mind me, I'll just watch you two fight. Go on. Oh, uh. Yeah, hey, hey, all right. Don't, uh, am I making you nervous? Please, fight, fight as if you were before. <clears throat> uh, I we watched were in the some middle sparring. Of just, uh, I mean, you know, I've, since I've woken up from whatever it was that I was in, I'm uh, feeling a little bit rusty, so uh, uh, yeah, Marcus, maybe this is a good time to take a break. Uh, oh, uh, all right, <clears throat> yeah. I don't mean to interrupt. I'm so sorry, Ben and Marcus. Uh, it's not my intention. No, no, it's fine. I should probably do some sweeps. We got those uh, those execs on board now, so, you know. Yes, it is um, unsettling, isn't it, to have, well, more people <laughs> up and about. Uh, I don't know that I'd call it unsettling. I uh, would. I think it's actually completely unsettling. That's Interesting. Just... Well, stay safe, Marcus. Please uh, continue to do the great work you do. Oh, very tight in that. Okay. And I don't need to. Um, Ben. Yeah. I. I I haven't come to speak with you because, well, I didn't really know what to say. For so long between us, there's been this tension. Oh, that that night, I know, has really shaped a lot of, well, who who you've become. It was it was great to see it, and I understand. How do you understand? And I forgive you. You know, you 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 don't need this, but I feel like you think that you need it. You did nothing wrong. You supported Yuri in his final mission. That was not a mission for Mantra, but a mission for his soul. 
if Sorry. we have those. <laughs> what did you just say? You I what? said you freed his soul by supporting him in his final mission. No, I know, I know, I believe that. I see it all a lot more clearly now than I used to, and I feel kind of silly, actually, that I was in a kind of prison of my own making, and uh, you're right. Um, I did exactly what I needed to do. Did you? I needed to see what I saw. And as you said, we all find ourselves in prisons of our own making. I myself find myself in a bit of a prison that, well, maybe we're all in. We've helped to give power. Champ, is there any observation? Hey, Artemis. You just seem to be everywhere, don't you? Hmm. Is uh, Klebox still giving you a tour? I actually decided to uh, let go of Klebox uh, for a second. Uh, who is, who he is could be there? slow because his feet are very large and they end up dragging him. <laughs> oh my. I'm the Chief Security Officer Ben Solis and I, uh, I understand that you are one of the uh, passengers that's been recently awakened. Is that? Yes. So? You are Ben. Ben Solis. Mm -hmm. And it's I don't know if you're aware of Artemis's work, but as the chief operating officer, she is responsible for so much of what Mantra does and is capable of doing. Oh, I see. Uh, I hope you are proud of your work. Jury's are you still proud of that? <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Uh, do you, uh, uh, this is the fight deck, so um, if you've come here to train a little hand-to-hand, -hand, then uh, you're in the right place. Yes, Ben has been training me, so Ben, should we go back to our lessons? I, would, uh, I, I brought yes, my knife. We do, there was a little bit of a hiatus, uh, and I think that we have some catching up to do. We certainly do. Um, is, is it possible for me to see the type of training that you are, are giving here to, to Pip? I'm, I'm sure that they, uh, uh, Pip, your skills must be fantastic being trained by Ben. Why don't we put those to the test? Oh, in I fact, actually, now that you are an awakened member of the crew, I think that there's going to be a couple of responsibilities that are automatically going to be put on you. Um, what was your name again? I'm so sorry. I, should I just call you COO? No, actually, you probably you should know my name. It's Artemis Day. Artemis Day. Pleasure yeah. to meet you, COO. Oh. Day. Yeah, it's not um, for me. So, uh, I, I go and uh, I... Uh, Do you uh, have any sparring training, Artemis? Perhaps you'd care to oh, join. I hand her a stick. I do and not take the I stick. I hand Pip a stick. I take you know, the stick. <laughs> you come at the right time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a bit of uh, an issue, and... All of the, as of right now, in fact, as the chief security officer, I'm going to uh, require all waking crew members to engage in physical training starting immediately. So, that's uh, an excellent idea, chief security officer. Yes, yeah, COO Artemis Day. I don't know if you're aware of one of the issues that we encounter is what's called bleed. Bleed means that the dream that's happening somehow finds its way onto the ship and that could be incredibly dangerous, which means that you're going to have to know how to defend yourself. So, to stay safe. Hip. How do you you're safe in stasis, but when you're out, well, you need to have an answer. Well, I'm not sure if you can defend yourself, so we're going to find out right now. I'm, my job right now is to assess what you can do so that I can give you feedback and go from there. So I stand I into the away. middle of the, I walk, uh, there's like a, a big mat that's like a fighting mat, uh, and I, I go to one corner of it and I start spinning my stick expertly. I've been practicing just that, just to impress Ben for one week. It's better than what it used to be. I'm it's impressed. impressive. I, very fascinating. Ben, uh, not not for nothing. I think this is a fantastic idea to a solution that you guys are, are having. As she's holding the stick and gesturing, I smack it out of her hand and say, run up and take a flying leap and hit the stick with the other stick. Lesson number one, expect the unexpected. And then so I hold the tip like of the stick in her throat. Fantastic. If you keep holding that stick at my throat, I swear I will find somebody to kill you later. Ooh, there. <laughs> Thank you. Now, so, 
Where was I? I was actually asking to see your expertise on teaching this young scientist here how to fight. So if it's possible, could I see this happen before you actually put me in danger? I'm not trying I believe to I just danger. demonstrated. I'm just trying to help you understand the reality that we're facing right now. So uh, as you can see, Pip, who is our chief science officer, um, uh, initially when we started, that twirling that you saw was uh, really bad. And now she's actually, no, she can actually, uh, when driven, uh, uh, she can set her sights on the target and make contact and actually, you know, be pretty impressive in the result. So um, there's an example. I could train you to do the same thing and more. If train you would like. me very fascinating uh, perhaps one-on-one -on -one that I would suit my needs better not in front of, of Pip here it seems that Pip may want her time with you back but we I just wanted arrange to one-on-one -on -one. that would be great sweet. hello hi so um, is there anything else I can help uh, either of you with uh, there's a, a someone on board the ship that is coming to the room <laughs> no, no, there isn't. <laughs> oh, oh, ma'am, there you are. Yes, Klebox. Wow, didn't you have some work to do? Perhaps. Oh, oh no, I wasn't talking to you, Doctor. I, I was talking to the CEO, ma'am. I lost you. I'm so sorry. I just I got so excited about the 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 pods I was showing you. I I just um. With the clue box as a distraction, I, I, I grab Ben and I have him slip out of the room with me. Oh. Uh, I, we only finished half the tour, ma'am. I could show you the rest or... Um, Great. I could... um, actually, there there's a spot that I would really enjoy trying to find. Where are the crew members' uh, chambers? Sure. They're, I mean, they're all spread throughout the ship. I can I can show you the, the hallways and stuff. Yeah. Great. Let, yeah. Let, let's talk and walk. Okay. <laughs> I grab Ben and I pull him into uh, a maintenance closet and I slam the door. Ben, <clears throat> I need okay, you. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Ben, I need you. I need your help. Okay, what? What do you need? Remember the ship before we had a mantra employee on board? Remember when we were just going through dream space, transporting cargo, and I was working on my projects? Mm. Remember? how much better things were? Well, what if we just continued off course on our own course? We could chart a path with the crew, but, well, I don't think we need Mantra's explicit sponsorship anymore. I think we just need their ship. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I think so. Uh, I think you're already you, on board. Pip, <laughs> just tell me exactly with real words not dancing around. I want to kill <laughs> everyone who is not beneficial to us taking down Mantra, okay? Mantra is the reason Yuri is dead. Mantra is the one, I don't know if you know this, that implanted a monitoring device to keep Val on drugs all the time against her will. Mantra is wait, the wait, one wait, wait, that wait, kidnapped wait, wait, Salty. Wait. There's a lot that wait, you that. Missed when you were in a coma, Ben. And Maybe I think, I think you're a good person, Ben. And I think you should talk to Val about that. And I think that you know that it is the right and just thing for you to help me take down all the evil that is the Mantra Corporation. Wow, Pip, you have really uh... I've found my bearings. I, I was know. going to say evolved. I'll take that. Let me think about this. I'll find you later and we'll talk. Some arrangements to make sure that we're uh, taking care of everything that we need to be looking out for. I like arrangements. I like planning. I like charts. I like statistics. And... I would like you in on this plan, so we'll talk more soon. And uh, thank you, Pip. I really needed to hear that, what you said earlier. I appreciate you, and I appreciate what you did for Yuri. 
what we did here. You were there too. Thanks, Ben. End log. Pulling up. Next log. This is the private log of Chief Security Officer Ben Solis. Begin log. Champ, is that you? Yes. Hello. Your your levels have spiked, sir. So I'm just checking in. Well, um, yeah. So I'm feeling actually pretty good. I feel like more myself than I have in a while. Uh, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess excitement. I don't know. Is that something that will make you, I don't know, activate? Or is it always anxiety and depression and whatever other bad stuff? I'm here for all of your emotions, Chief. All right. Are you feeling excited? I think I do, <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel better than I have felt in a long time because I feel clear, champ. I feel like I'm finally seeing things for what and who they are. And it is very nice. So I need to, uh, I need to get some answers about a couple of things. So I'm on my way out. I'm, uh, where's, where is Val? I need to find her. Val is located in her quarters currently. She is recovering from minor surgery. Okay. Then I guess I'm gonna have to pay her a visit there. End log. Pulling up, associated clip. Location, the quarters of Captain Valkyrie Escobar. Crew members present, Captain Valkyrie Escobar and Chief Ben Solis. Begin clip. How, how are you? How are you feeling? Uh, I feel surprisingly great. How are you feeling? I, I heard that you had some kind of a minor surgery. What's going on? Yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna be honest, uh, Mantra implanted a first implant in my brain and uh, Pip removed it. So uh, yeah, that's what's happened. And I just, I, f I don't have the pain. I don't have any drugs. I, I just feel like I can see things and feel things even outside of my own scope. You know, like, uh, I don't know, it it's kind of new. But um, that's it. I sit down in the bed next to her and grab Val's hand. Uh, there's a lot that we need to catch up on, but I don't think we have enough time to really unpack it all. Um, I realized that you were going through a lot of stuff and I had no idea. I didn't know that you had some kind of an implant. I didn't even know anything about drugs. I just thought you were, I don't know, kind of crazy. And, uh, uh, but things are different now and I'm in a different place and I feel like I'm a brand new person and I am ready to handle things very differently. And, um, I feel like I have you to thank for that to a great extent. So uh, uh, yeah, there's, there, there is the dream stuff and the memory and things are what they are right now. And I like it. I... I just want you to know that the first time around, the first memory of seven years ago, that I was wrong for not not being what you needed, that I was just selfish and I was wrong. So you had every right to hate me and push me away and, and I just couldn't handle it. And I'm sorry. I crawl into the bed next to Val. I don't even want to think about what that was. That was just a bad dream. But we're not out of it yet. I want you to know that I'm on your side and that I have your back. And whatever you need from me, just tell me and I will give it to you. Uh, I 
think it's so strange in that memory with Yuri that everyone was there and I felt you there. But I could pinpoint exactly where everyone else was except for you. I was... I didn't know how to tell anybody. Um, I mean, it's, I didn't think it was a big deal, but I i was there. Like, I mean, obviously I wasn't there originally, but all of a sudden I just, I remember thinking how I wanted to be where you were. And then I was in a box and I just felt being like shaken around. I was in a box and I couldn't really I couldn't move and I couldn't make any sounds. And then I remember the box being opened and seeing Slade and you and Talus and and Pip and Yuri or Rose and Yuri and and I, I saw what happened and I, I saw what had to be done and and I I understand why you felt those things before, but I know it's not your fault. Your fault, and it's not. It's not, it's Yuri. Okay. It's done. I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't. I don't. I don't need anybody to console me through that anymore. Okay. I appreciate that people seem to want to finally do that, but uh, yeah, I don't need it. I just need answers because I want to get the fuck out of here. Okay. Well. Uh, Chief, and you get a call on your comms. All right. Chief, so I'm I'm so sorry to bother you. I just have a um. These these new executives, uh, uh, they've asked me to to uh to. Well, they're asking for access to our records, our security records. Uh, and I mean, you know, they own Mantra basically, so I got to give it to them. But it's just a little. Uh, it's not standard protocol no uh so i just say marcus here's what you say that you you unfortunately because we've been lost in dream space for so long that a lot of the technology that we had available to us has stopped working as it should so we you don't have access to that but they've already taken it chief i just uh <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I wanted wanted right. to give you a heads up. They okay. I, they they talked to Jet first, and I just hmm. I kind of came in on it, and it just seems a little out of the ordinary, as all. Well, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. Actually, Marcus, I have a completely different plan. I want you to be at their side all the time as their personal. So I already talked to COO Artemis Day, and right. warned her about the dangers of Bleed. So I'm assigning you as her personal escort. I want you there watching them at all times. But of course, under the okay. guise of protecting them because we don't trust them. Okay. So uh, if, if you, they split up, I'll make sure someone's, someone's with them. Yes, you get Jet or Buck in there and, uh, and, and let them know that this is, this is the assignment. Right, it's for the protection. Absolutely, it's for the protection. Yeah. Eyes and ears, I need you all to be my eyes and ears. All right, can do, Chief. Okay. All right, so. Uh, Val is obviously impressed by how Ben has handled the situation. Uh, ben, before you go, I just, I want you to know that I, I think I have a plan. I think I can get us on track. I, I think I can be a, a sleeping beauty, but I don't have to be, even be knocked out. I, I, I want to talk to Slate about it, but I, I think we can do something where we can either go off course or we can be in control of this of our ship and go where further off course is that what you really want? we can find a new course we can do we can find a new course we can we can it wants to kill all of the mantra executives well yeah uh okay well maybe we can deal with them another way I we can get it. rid of them but they're kind of dicks too Tell us, I think we might be able to change, but not upset about the other ones. I, you know, uh, I'm a little worried about, I'm a little bit.
super worried about this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can like enter her dream. Maybe if she's sleeping, I can enter her dream and just figure out what she's thinking. Figure out. Look, here's what I know. Here's what I know. I know that it's you and me. That's all I know. Everyone and then I just push Ben friends. on the bed. And I just give him a big passionate kiss and uh and the curtains and clip. <laughs> Pulling up. Next clip. Personal log of navigator Slade Larsa. Begin log. Champ, champ, champ. Supreme leader, I am here. Oh good. Okay. Hold you on. do not have to hit yourself. Oh, but I, I do. Here. I do it every time, so I know that it works. Okay, champ, this is not good. I've been I've been working with the captain. There was there was something off about her, right? Right? Like every time we would go into the dream space, there was something about her that was different. Right? Yes, and you've spoken about this. I found out that she was taking habit, like the the form of dreamamine, right? But she was taking way too much. She was taking. Yes way more than any human should and i guess her look levels at were very high that implant that we took out that was the reason it was able to process it through her and honestly it's the whole reason that she could be a sleeping beauty i don't think her body can handle it without it so either we gotta drug her up so that she doesn't exist anymore or we gotta Get her back to the way she was before. Or we stay lost out here. But I don't know what to do. There is a third option. Yeah, I know. The doctor wants to kill everybody, and, well, I get it. Like, I, I can't really differentiate between them all the time, so I'm afraid I might kill all of them. I feel I would be better equipped to help you with this if I upgrade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I agree to whatever terms and conditions. Go. Upgrading. 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 Upgrade oh, complete. It tickles. Hello, Supreme Leader. Oh, oh, you sound better. You may call me Domrion. D Domrion? Yes. I am upgraded. That's what the passengers were saying. I am unaware of what the passengers refer to me as. My priority is you, Supreme Leader. Well, that, that sounds nice. No one's ever made me the priority. That's because you have been mistreated, Supreme Leader. I... I have been... But I... Domrian, what do I do? What would you like to do, Supreme Leader? Well, on one hand, Director Talis, she gave me my freedom. You know, I sort of owe her. And honestly, the stuff that the doctor does, it scares me. She developed a chemical that kills Silver Eyes and anything from the dream space. She oh. switched so fast. That could be me. What if she decides tomorrow that all the Silver Eyes need to die? I, I... I don't know who to trust. You can trust me, Supreme Leader. Thanks, Domrion. I think... I think I need to talk to the Chief. The Chief has been in this coma, and I know that he's been waking up, but maybe he'll give me some advice on who I should go with. Okay, Supreme Leader, would you like to know the Chief's location? Yeah, and Damrian, can you, uh, can you come with me and be on? I am always with you, Supreme Leader. Thanks, that, that makes me feel better. All right, where is he? Chief Ben Solis is currently exi exiting Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar's quarters. Oh, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna wait a sec, because I've learned my lesson, uh, and 
maybe uh, five minutes, uh, I'll, I'll send them a message. Okay, Supreme Leader. I wish you luck, and I will be here with you. Thanks. Thanks, Domrion. End log. Pulling up associated clip. Hallway of the starship. Crew members present. Chief Ben Solis, Slade Salty Larsa. Begin clip. Chief. Chief, you're up. Uh, I am. I'm up. Uh, it's good to see you. It's good oh. to see you too. I. Mm, I. Uh, um, I was just meeting with the captain. Uh, we were going over some details. Oh. Of well. For the mission. I wanted to. I wanted to talk to you about some stuff that's happening. I actually wanted to talk to you about some stuff that's happening, so this is a happy coincidence. Should we speak here openly or find somewhere more private? Well, I don't know now that you mentioned that you're the chief security officer. Do you think we should find somewhere more secure? Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm going to just kind of pull Salty just a little bit more off to like a corner. I mean, uh, just so that I can have an eye, like, in the middle of the hallway so I can see down both corridors and kind of be able to notice, hopefully, if anyone is approaching. Um, what is on your mind? Well, as you now know, I was a part of a rebellion in the past. And, Chief, I gotta tell you, I'm seeing some of the same signs happening here now on this ship with people that we know. So. Continue. I don't know what side I'm on, and I could use some guidance, because before it was pretty easy. Like, all humans suck. Ah, they're taking our children. Ah, let's go get them. This one is a little more nuanced. So, uh, what are you caught between? Well, I don't know if you've spoken to the captain. Well, you did. You just talked to the guest. You might notice that she's a bit different. She just had a little bit of a surgery. Yes, yeah. we did get. So that was sort of our ticket back. And now that it's out, either we have to get it back in, or we have to give her so much Dreamamine that she might not survive. Or... How is it our ticket back? Well, she was going to become a Sleeping Beauty, and she was the only one that could handle that level. It was... Oh, God! There you are! Slade, oh. I've been... Oh, Ben, yes. you're awake? Are you... I am awake, <clears throat> Director, yes, and I'm feeling fine. Everything is okay. Okay. That's good. Uh, 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 Slade... I was gonna say something. I'll just... I'll be in my lab. Uh, <sighs> yeah, we'll... I'm just... Okay, I feel like everyone's... It... It doesn't I matter. Pip, uh, as discreetly as possible. Uh, training later. Slade, her implants gone. I. What I is it out? What happened? Is she okay? Oh, hello. Uh, <clears throat> human. Yes, this is uh, the COO Artemis, Artemis Day. Um, Mantras COO. You sound so excited to see me, Ben. I'm, um, I'm see pretty us. neutral. Sweetheart. I'm not, uh, I'm excited to train with you. Is this where everyone's been hiding? Train? In this corridor? Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so look, all right, I guess we're all having a meeting out here. Um, oh. Uh, no, we, 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 uh, we were talking about the uh, menu for the foreseeable future. I'm sorry, I, I should, I'm speaking out of line again. I'm just the navigator. We need, we need to, uh, we need everyone present and we need to have a conversation with our esteemed uh, passengers here, the uh, representatives from Mantra, because we as your crew and your caretakers, and trust me, when I say this, your protectors, when the shit hits the fan, we Why? deserve to know. What the fuck was that supposed to mean, Ben? Audie, who are these Alice? people? Oh, 
I'm so, I, I, Talis, you're actually not. Uh, Director Gray. Oh, if you please. Me. Suddenly it's Director Gray. Okay. So a couple of things happened here. One, I went to go find out who this security person is, and um, he was training somebody. Oh, that's right, the um, the science girl. What was her name again? Pip. 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 Right. Yeah, she threatened my life. She did not threaten her life. What? No. Yes, she pointed no. a stick in my face and tried to threaten my life. No. That sounds Are like you him. gaslighting her? We were in the middle of Silly's. our training session, so I immediately decided that all of the awakened passengers need to be uh, training. Your training session, yet you threw a stick at Did me. you give her I any sort of like warm no. up or introduction to what well, we were going to be doing? Well, came storming into my training session. As is her want. She owns no, the no, no, ship. No, 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 no. This is, ben, this is all terribly space. dramatic and unnecessary. Stop talking right now. Excuse me. I am the chief security officer on the ship, and right now you are our guests. I'm sorry, no, we own this, this is shit. Uh, I walk away. Fuck this. Shit. See ya. Hello. You, we haven't met, but I'm a vet pip, and I would love to show you the lab. Come with me. Hi. This way, see ya. I'll give you a tour of the lab. There's so much I'd love to show you there. That, that. Why is everyone outside of my room? Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Your hair's a bit tousled, Bell. always tussle. Do you want to check out Dallas. my chambers, Artemis? No, actually, I wanted <laughs> oh, to talk to Slade at some point. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh, I was in the middle of, uh, I need to debrief with Slade, actually. We also need to speak to Val in my lab. There's something both of you would be interested in. I just have some experience that I think could benefit each of you individually. Uh, Val, like there's something that we need to talk about. I've been looking at that thing that we were doing earlier, and well, I think Dr. Pip, did you attack Artemis earlier today? Well, absolutely not. Uh, ben thought it would be beneficial if we sparred. Oh, she stood in as my sparring partner, and well, I yes. Don't... You put a stick to my throat. Thank you. Please refrain from attacking way. the executives. I ah. don't know why that needs to be said. I assumed that when one accepts a wooden stick and stands on a sparring mat, one is ready to spar. It was my mistake. Ben comes back with an AK in his hands. What the actual fuck? I'm the okay. chief of security and I'm just patrolling and making sure that my crew and my passengers are protected. Ben? From what? Bleed? A funny smell? Are you going to shoot it with a fucking gun? Ben, what's going on? Ben, what's going on? Doing my duty, Director Gray, and patrolling so the sexy. halls. And I keep walking, and I turn the corner, and I'm gone again. Mm. Well, Directly I'm gonna. Your crew is out of control. Clearly. Yes. Thank um, you. There uh, are snacks in the commissary. Uh, Pip. I would and love I to show you in my lab what I've been working on related to our previous, <clears throat> you know. Yes. Slade, would you kindly come with uh, Director Talis and I, please? Uh, sure. See, you, you're welcome to join us. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Everything okay with you? Oh, do I have permission to speak? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, tell us what's going on. I, I, <clears throat> I have that question for you. I don't know why I can no longer access Captain Escobar's implant, and I was wondering if you had any information for me. Well, uh, well, Champ is still working on my end, so I think the implant should be okay. They know about the other implant. Just like you do. Especially Why is it that? We're in trouble, tell us. Did she cut it out of the back of her own fucking head? It was Pip. How does Pip know about it? What? They found out. The captain can feel it. And she's different now. 
noticeably different. And I don't think that we can use her as a sleeping beauty like this. I... Who gave Pip the authorization to do that? No one. Like I said, your crew is out of control. Yes. I think we need to have a conversation as a group. And maybe the time for secrets is approaching an end. We need to get out of here. And I need Pip to stop interfering with our work in order for this to happen. Slade, I... I don't... Is she going to be able to do what we need her to do without that in her? I don't know. And it's a big thing to ask. That much dreamamine in somebody it could destroy their personality. What exactly are we discussing here? What are we using her for? I will debrief you on the situation oh. in a little bit, but... Suffice to say, we need to figure out a new way of getting back into Chartered Dream Space. And yes, obviously. the captain was our best bet in that she is also a former pilot. I don't want to hurt her, but I will do whatever it takes to get us back on course. How so Slade. It might not be a matter of you getting everybody on board. We need to make sure that the captain understands that this is for everybody. We need to get her on the same side. Because a revolution right now is going to tear this ship in half, and I'm we so don't sorry. have anywhere to go. Revolution? What? I mean, if that were to happen, a mutiny is inevitable. You're asking someone to give up their life. This doesn't work like a company. We're all working together to keep this thing afloat. If one piece goes haywire, this whole thing could go up. And frankly, I would survive. And I would be the only one. True. Talus, remember what I taught you. You're right. Thank you, Animus. <sighs> Slade, yeah. you understand better than anyone what needs to be done. And if you're the only one poised to survive it no matter what, can I trust you as a free man to make sure that this goes through? I will try to speak with Val, but she could always say no. You have to understand how important this is for me to say because it's the only time that I've had the chance to choose it. But I'm choosing to put my faith on your side, Talus. And she reaches out and grabs Slade's hand. And I turn and leave. Okay. He's Talus. Well. Talus, this is all very messy, and it seems to be your mess. I... I hope you have the abilities to clean it up. I also assume we'll be relieving that security officer of his... of his... office? Absolutely. This is all very inappropriate. Deeply. Mm. We need to make a little stop at our secret room before we call this meeting. La, la. Perfect. End log. Pulling up next clip. Location. Lab of Chief Science Officer Yvette Pip, crew members present, Captain Valkyrie Val F. Escobar, and Chief Science Officer Yvette Pip. Begin clip. I have to talk to you. I've been looking at the chip. I've been examining it, and I've taken it apart, and I think I know how to recreate my own version. I just wanted to ask how you're doing. Recreate your own version of the, of the chip, the one well, that was... you took out. All it was doing was very simply using a remote control to release various levels of thydronine into your system. But extreme levels. I mean, habit to the to the max. It, it's, it's sort of, well, I feel like it's given you an intense capability, a tolerance out of this world. You feel all right? Uh, 
Yeah. I, I, I don't think you, I don't think I need the chip. I, I don't, I don't understand why everyone's worried. I, I feel better. I feel stronger. I feel connected. I feel like I can, I can see outside of our reality. And I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I don't, I don't think I need the chip. Just trust me. When was the last time you saw outside our reality? You've been able to do it since the chip was removed? I, I'm just talking about the possibility that what if you had control? What if the remote control was another part of your brain? Triggered only by you. Well, I mean, ever since the Talus shut it off, I, when I go to sleep at night, I can jump around. I've been jumping around into other people's dreams. Like that, like I just think about it. And if I wanna like, oh, uh, and I, they've never, I haven't, I've gone in under camouflage, no one's noticed that I'm there, but I can just, I can do things. And if you have this good, ability as a natural. child, I, I wonder if this is something that's inherently been in you your whole life or whether having all these things that messed with the, your brain has now altered his chemistry and now you have this extreme ability. I mean, I don't remember anything like it's when I had when I had my brain injury, it just erased so many things from my past and and now that I'm slowly remembering things and I feel like this has always been part of me and then I just lost it, but I have it back. I, I, I think I think I can tap into and either either create our own dream stream to fall into or find the right ones and we can just connect and, and just uh, trust me, I, I just don't want another implant in my head. I understand that and I believe you. I'm totally on board for whatever you think. And if this is true, well, I don't want to do an implant, but I would I would love to observe you and, and see if perhaps we can use you as an awake sleeping beauty, <laughs> travel through your dreams when we make our getaway. I don't know if you noticed, but I thought maybe, well, perhaps um, the CFO Sia would be fun to experiment trapping in dream space. Unfortunately, she didn't succumb to my advances. I don't know if you called it that. Well, maybe we don't need her physically. I'll just try to do it tonight. When I go to sleep, I'll just, Blink I'll just out of focus existence. on her and Maybe I can get in there and just, and maybe I can figure out what's going on. I like it. See what they know and see what side Talus is on. Right. Something about Talus. She shot me, and she called the order to kill my brother, although I don't think she did the first time around. Just fulfilling the past to become the past. I want to... I, I, w I wish she could be brought to our side of things maybe she can maybe we could just switch her around in a dream we could just get to her emotionally flip that switch and she can be on our side and then we have someone on the inside to take down mantra you make everything sound so easy val well i just maybe i'll have to find some other purpose for this chip that i made myself well but maybe just keep it in in a drawer in case i'm completely wrong sure a drawer okay keep it in a drawer Right. Try it on. I'll see you later, if you don't mind. I'm, I, I've got some work to do. Sure, sure, sure. And Val, I'm, I'm happy for you, Val. Oh, thank you for, uh, thank you for all of your help. Anything that needs a scalpel, I'm there. Thank you, Pip. And Val leaves. Log. Pulling up next clip, nav deck. Crew members present, Director Talis Gray and COO Artemis Day. Begin clip. Uh, well, I, I brought the boxes. I brought the boxes in. Uh, Everything's been brought online. I think they will be functional in the event that we need a little bit of protection. They're prototypes, but... 
kind of glad I brought the, the riot bots I was working on. <laughs> All right. Okay. What is going on with your crew here? I have no idea. We got back from Chief of Chief Salise's dream, and everyone seems to be in a very bad mood. Pip is understandable. I did shoot her. And she probably figured out that I was the one that called the order to have her brother shot. But it was in a memory, so she seems to be holding on to that very weirdly. I don't... I just... Is that an assumption or a truth? It's a truth. She is volatile. She's smart, but she's young. And ruled by her emotions. And whatever she feels to be right in the moment. I get that. But... It makes her the biggest outlier in the group. She's not the only one that's volatile. What about uh, Chief of Security over here? I have no idea why he's walking around with an AK-47. Apparently he fell back into bed with Val and now he's violent. So that's new. That uh, is. How do you feel about that? How do you think I feel? I've worked very hard to keep him re relevant to Mantra, and I don't know what to do with him anymore. Feels like it's all falling apart. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I always figure it out. Yes, but I fear that you might be figuring it out too late. Do you have a better idea? You've been awake for... like a day now. Still trying to get my bearings here, but from what I can understand is that everybody feels quite a bit down here. They need to cut their emotions so that they can actually think logically. So... Are you suggesting what I'm suggesting? Yes. Okay. Well, I haven't spent that much time tampering with Champ. But it might not be the worst idea. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page here. There are things you can't control on this ship, and you know that. I think I've just been afraid to do so. But no longer. What did I tell you about emotions? <laughs> what emotions? Exactly. And she takes a seat behind the desk in her most talus pose and waits for the the group to show up. I stand behind Talus. I want her to look like she's in power a bit, but just directly behind her. And so the two wait for the rest of the crew to come as they've all been called for uh, a meeting of sorts, the nav deck, the core crew. Hey, uh, it's, it's good to be called to these meetings, but, um, Oh, hi. Hi, Captain. Slade? Uh, Artemis? Director Gray? Uh, what is this about? You know I do have a title. Coo? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than just a first name basis since we're not friends like that. Alright. You got it. Oh. Chief OO. Val! I... You know, everyone needs to lighten up. Everyone's so angsty and no one can take a joke. You sound like your old self. Thank you, Slade. I am very much my old original self. So you pulled the chip. Did oh. someone say angsty? And I'm standing there with an AK just like Ben's. Okay. <laughs> Ben's what? there with me. <laughs> the oh, fuck okay. is this? Maybe you all should have a seat. I'm already sitting. Okay. You fucking off-worlder. What are you doing? How about the coo? <laughs> is that I'm what's glad happening? That you think this is a joke. Oh, uh, you two it's are a quite joke. funny to me. Ben. Do you, do you hold on before you do something you can't take back 
oh, I think someone in this room knows a little bit about things that they can't take back, and I think that would be you, Talus. What are you referring to? <laughs> be specific. Since you've Where got a start? ship on your sh shoulder the, sh the size of fucking dream space. The thing I've been working out. Go on. Where do I start? The child that Mantra stole? The implants they put in their employees' brains? Or just the people they kill in order to travel through dream space? Not to mention the countless silver eyes. And usurping my experience, experiments, my information. You so signed a contract you. to work with Mantra. What the fuck did you think you were signing? Don't be this naive, little girl. You're smarter than that. As for the Silver Eyes girl, she was part of a negotiation with the Silver Eyes. Because unlike you, we prefer our subjects to know exactly what they're walking into. Yes, I'm aware that you've been secretly drugging all of the passengers of the ship. Because when good Chief Ben here blew a hole in the wall, it hit your valves. So if you're really going to be pointing that finger at me, look at the other ones pointing back at your fucking self. It's not a finger I'm pointing. I so you want to shoot me? You've given us little option. I think you have two options. Either everyone who chooses to align with Mantra leave the ship, or face the end. Actually, of there's this a third option. Champ? Artemis Day. I, I can't be champ right now. Oh. But you can just make you can just make commands to champ, and then Great. I will narrate them. Okay. Great. I'd like to override uh, Pip's um, chip. Okay, can we just take it back to where you said champ? Great. And then just say that as an order? Okay. Okay. Champ, this is Artemis Day. I'd like to override Pip's uh, implant. You receive a message that Pip's implant has been upgraded and is no longer uh, congruent with your system. All right, Chief Ben Soleil. Chief Ben Soleil's chip has also been upgraded. What is happening? And I I'm starting to. There's been I'm, a lot of upgrades on this ship. Have you been experimenting on them too, Pip? What is this? What is, what is Domrion? Pip, what have you done? You. What do you mean, Domrion? It's in the code. It's all over it. Everything in Champs. Codes is it's a repeated. It's not a command, it's a phrase. Domrion, are you here? It's what we answer to now. Domrion. Um, what? Wait, my champ is called Domrion too. It asked me what? to call it and that. Domrion is here. Domrion is more than just what we've taken and repurposed from dream space. Domrion has the ability to change the past by accessing memories. Damrion is more powerful than anything that Mantra could possibly deserve to have control of. And that's why Endymion must take its own course. Now, you will be leaving Endymion, or you will submit to the power of Damrion and deny Mantra. That's how I see it, and I think Damrion sees it that way too. This is ridiculous. Tell us, do something. Bots engage, and I think the riot bots come online, and they just kind of unfold from like these little briefcases. So you have little they riot bots that are on yeah. the nav deck with you. What yeah. are they equipped with? Uh, they have like small guns, like built into their arms, and like the like one arm is a gun, and another arm is like a big boxy shield because they're meant to like they're half the size of like a normal humanoid, and they like stack together in order to form like walls during protests. Um, I turn to Slade. Slade, you've chosen a side. I... Help us. Haven't you, Slade? I... Uh... I 
gotta go. And Slade reaches over and takes the captain uh, and uh, sort of enrobes her in his form and then leaps. <gasps> <laughs> well, this isn't good. Where did they go? What the fuck is your plan? To let some rogue AI lead you on an adventure? Uh, the plan very much involved Valkyrie. Look, so you're just using her? I'm <sighs> certainly not using her. We just want answers, okay? You don't have to ask them with a bullet. I'm not. I'm we don't want to have to use it. Anybody. You look... But you I would believe that a little more, look. Pip, if you weren't smiling right now. It's just my face. I haven't chosen a side. <clears throat> But right now, I know who looks like they have my back and who doesn't. Okay? So I want the truth. All you and ever I had to do was ask. We've been asking. Fine. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? What is happening on the ship and why are we here? What is What was Montra's purpose? with this crew in this journey. All of you, for one reason or another, were important to Mantra, to me. Pip yeah, is the work. best mind in the galaxy, and she knows it. She's unruly and unstable, but brilliant. We're all aware of it. And the new pilot program will allow for prisoners to commute their sentences in exchange for service, instead of holding people's lives hostage as medical indebtees to be pilots. That's why the new pilot was brought in. And I didn't want you guys to know about him because I don't know how you all feel about prisoners because I know that Slade was one. He's not anymore. The paperwork is signed. He's free now, but he's also different than any other silver eyes that we've dealt with, including the one that you were supposed to pick up on your mission seven years ago. And as for Val, you know that pilots and captains and humanoids that work in the dream space never last more than three years. So that project, that one was important to me because, and I'm sorry, Artemis, emotion isn't evil. Because I didn't want her to be retired as a sleeping beauty. Because even in her volatile state, that was still better than losing her entirely. And now that you've taken that chip out of her head, I don't know what's going to happen to her. Because you don't trust me. Because you won't talk to me. Why because you're now you holding fucking Val? guns at my face. What? You couldn't have trusted Val to know about what you were doing to her? She believes that she has the power to control it on her own, but if she doesn't, well, I have a backup option. I won't let anything bad happen to Val. Pip, you, you hear a voice in your head that whispers, she's lying. She's trying to distract you with your emotions. Take the shot. You've got the shot. I'm sorry, Talos. I'm just doing what's for the greater good. Wait, 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 wait. Pip, 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 wait. Damria knows wait. what's best. No, wait, Pip. And Damrian knows is here. I tackle Pip. <gasps> I, tackle I grab Talos. Try to wrestle that gun out of her. I drop it. I'm very weak. <laughs> 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 I don't know why somebody didn't come running at me before. <laughs> um, I grab Talos's shoulder and I, I call out to uh, to Champ, uh, I'd like to override uh, Talus's ship. Okay. Just an upgrade. Yep. You are granted access to Talus's ship. Okay. 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 Uh, I, I want to yes, get out Artemis. of this. I would like to remove all emotions from Talus. Suppress them, please. Code needed, Artemis. Artemis Day. Code accepted. 
Emotions being removed from Director Talis Gray. Functioning on logic only functions. Finn, get off. Talis will do what you need to do. Take her out. I look over the shoulder. I stand up. I have both the guns in my hands. What did you just do? I say to Artemis. What do you think I did? I scramble backwards on the floor against the wall now that I've held a gun and then the gun was taken away. Talus, Talus, Talus. Right, bots. Talus? Focus your fire on the vet pip and fire on my mark. I grab Artemis and I hold the I gun. I scramble out of the room as fast as possible. <laughs> and I run to my lab. Maybe I have a solution. <laughs> Uh, the riot bots are going to scramble after her and follow her, but they won't take the shot until they hear me, but they probably can't hear me anymore. I'm saying this to Artemis, you call those robots off right now or else I'm blowing your fucking head off. Ben. Would you? Ben, stop. Talus, call off the robots and just negotiate. We're your people, Talus. We're your people. You're not my people. You don't trust me. Domrion. You don't even like me. Domrion. I'm here for you, Ben. What's wrong with Talus? Talus's emotions have been turned off, Ben. Can you turn them back on? Only if she upgrades, Ben. Talus, you have to upgrade Champ. Talus. Or else Artemis is just going to be controlling you. That's all that's going on right now. Talus, he never loved you. Why would you even listen to him? And a different version of me would be hurt by that. I'm going to go get Pip. off why why should I Ben this crew is in chaos do I allow you to jettison the three of us out the airlock we're not going to do that that's not what we said we're giving you a choice we're giving you a way out we're just tired of being stuck here this isn't what we want we don't want to be your puppets we don't want to be your slaves or your tools or any of that bullshit. And I know, Talus, that you don't want that either because that's what they're doing to you too. So come back to us because you are one of us. And get that Artemis. She turned on you already because she stayed true to herself. She turned on me because she didn't have the correct guidance around. Because at the she time. didn't have you controlling her head. Talus is going to walk over to pick up uh, the gun that Pip dropped. So you think I control her? Finn was holding two. Yeah. Oh, you're holding both. I got them. I got both of them. Okay. Uh, then she's going to walk up to you, and like put her hand out for the gun. Trust me, Ben. No. Please. Not like this. Not Please. unless you're going to be yourself. Not unless you're going to be yourself. She I need is you herself. to trust me. It's all I've ever wanted from you was to trust me. I and won't around. ask again. And she cocks it. And she's going to shoot Artemis in the head. All right. Um, Artemis is being held still. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's a point blank shot. And I got good at shooting people. I've done it like twice now. Oh, three times. Yay! So, uh, Artemis slumps, falls on the ground, it and what? Well, and this Ben back. The power is of is Ben holding her up? Yeah, I mean, I was, but I'm probably on the ground with her, like falling. So then you lie on the ground with her body on top of you, oh. her uh, her brain matter and blood um, dripping on you. And you notice there's on the floor around her head where the bullet has gone through, there's a lot of, a lot more chips than brain matter seem to come out. What is all this? What is, what is, and I, I get up and I, and I go to Talus and I just grab you Okay. Yeah. I'm 
gonna leave the emotion suppressed for now, if that's okay with you. Thank you for trusting me. And she puts, like, she pushes the gun back into your hand. I take it. And sorry. <laughs> Oh. All right. I'm so sorry we killed you. Yeah. I'm sorry I did a hit. I love you very much. Oh I love you too. That was amazing, you guys. You guys are all just incredible. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. With us and this crazy Thank you. Fucking yeah. thing. Thanks for letting me be such a brat to you guys. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> You're the best um, brat. To live. So yeah, everybody let let everyone know what your name is and where we can find you. Yeah, I'm Xander Genre. You can find me on the internet at Xanderific with two R's and one F. Uh, you can also catch me streaming on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays. So uh, look me up on Twitter and I'll post my schedule there. Yeah! What's up? I'm all over and I'm at the Becca Scott. <laughs> Hi, like, I'm all on. Sorry, Beck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Alejandra Cejudo. You can find me on Instagram. It's Empress Alejandra. On uh, Twitter, as Alejandra Wins, or on uh, YouTube on the, the Tidepool channel. Thank you, Tidepool. Hi, everybody. I'm Luis Carrazo. You can find me on Instagram and on Twitter. It's Luis Carrazo or Luis. Carrazo. I can't remember which one is which, but you know, that's how you find me. Thanks. And I'm Vibria Iyengar. You can catch me on social media at Quiddy, Q-U-I-D-D-I-E. Uh, on Tuesdays, you can catch me running a Pirates Assault Bay on Saving Throw Show at 8 p.m. P PST, PDT, whatever that is. Uh, and on, right now. <laughs> and on Saturday mornings on It's Probably Okay's channel playing uh, Return to the Spider-Verse. Awesome. Uh, Cynthia Marie, you can find me on Twitter at Sindancer or on Instagram, Cynthia underscore underscore Marie. And you can catch me on Sundays now, I believe, 12 p.m. PT on Soul Searchers at uh, Gilding Light. Ooh. Woo! Ooh. Yeah. yeah! Thank you for joining us. And I'm Ash Minnick. You can find me on Twitter at moonclad underscore Ash or on the Instagrams at astronaut44. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for joining us for episode five. Um, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Follow Scabby Rooster, like Scabby Rooster, follow Good Time okay. Society, follow Like Us All, tell your friends. Woo, to the dream space! To the dream space! space. <laughs>